Microsoft Copilot has a new notebook feature, but you might not know what it is, and you might think it's similar to Google's Notebook LM, but it's not. So I'm going to show you what this new feature is from Microsoft Copilot, what it is, and how it works. All right, you ready? Let's dive into it. All right, but before we get started, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and grow their careers. So I hope this video is helpful. If so, please subscribe to this channel. But more importantly, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this new feature. So if you haven't used Microsoft Copilot recently, let me give you a very high level overview. So Copilot is free. Uh, it is limited in the free capacity. You can pay $20 a month for the Copilot Pro, uh, but there's it's uh, actually a pretty pretty good uh, tool, uh, AI tool for, um, for free. So uh, it used to be called Bing Chat, but now it's just called Copilot. All right, so just about last week, uh, Microsoft just unveiled this new notebook feature. All right, so a lot of people are confused because they think it's similar to the new feature that Google also just rolled out or similar called Notebook LM, but it's different. Uh, so Notebook LM is Google's attempt anyways. I didn't get good results from it, but uploading your different files, uploading your different notes and chatting uh, with your notes. That is not what Copilot Notebook is. Copilot Notebook is essentially um, an extended version or an extended context window for input prompts. All right, so let me show you what that means. So you'll see right here, I know it's kind of small, but at the very bottom, the very bottom of the screen here, you'll see it says 4,000 characters, all right? So depending on which conversation style I choose, the allotted number of characters changes. So this is 4,000. If I go to balanced, it says 2,000 and precise is 4,000. So if I'm working in prompting right here, and maybe I'm trying to trying to tweak my prompt a little bit, uh, you only get 4,000 characters total. All right, so that's probably the biggest benefit and why you might want to use the notebook, uh, the notebook version here. So the difference here you'll see is 18,000. So depending on which one, it's either you know about nine times or four times. Uh, the kind of context window or uh, input uh, window for a prompt. So why might you use this? Well, if you're one of those people that believes or uses, you know, these ultra long super prompts, FYI, that's not how large language models work. But if that's your thing, and if you're finding value, sure, here's a reason, uh, because it's it's a little limited. Or maybe you just want to quickly recap some text, right, without jumping into another window or another program. So let's just kind of show that as an example. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, this right here. So this is the beginning. I did an episode on seven steps on how to actually use ChatGPT in 2024. Uh, so I can copy this text, right? Um, so now if I go into Copilot, if I'm in the normal one, and let's just say, I say, please recap or please summarize this text, okay? And then I click enter you'll see it doesn't get it all. It caps it out there and it doesn't get the full uh, amount of text that I copied, right? It actually got only about half of it, maybe not even. All right, so let's try that same thing here now in Notebook. So now I can say, please summarize this text. I can paste it and you'll see um, it took up about 6,000. I'll go ahead and hit enter here so we can start, uh, so we can hit start summarizing this. All right, so right here, it got to about 6,000 of the 18,000 characters. So uh, right away, much longer uh, input um, or the ability to input much more text. So again, if you're one of those people that uses super prompts or super ultra long prompts that are, you know, thousands of characters long, uh, this is a way, you know, in theory, you could go side by side. And, and run, you know, two of these windows side by side and, you know, reiterate on your prompt and, com and compare uh, the results to see which one uh, does a little better. But for everyone else, I mean, maybe something simple that you can do is just the ability uh, to quickly copy and paste a bunch of text and, you know, asking it to be summarized or rewritten or to take large blocks of text and turn it into bullet points. So uh, right now you can do something similar in ChatGPT, but let's, you know what, since we're doing it, let's actually test, uh, let's test that out. So let's go to uh, ChatGPT 
And let's see how it does with uh, a longer uh, kind of um, input there. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say, please summarize this text. So ChatGPT got it all in there as well. And I'm pretty sure uh, ChatGPT's context window is, is pretty long. Uh, did, did a great job there. And hey, while we're, while we're at it, right? While we're at it, we might as well try Gemini. Let's see if Gemini can do it. Uh, so I'm going to say, please summarize this text. All right, let's make sure it all got in there. All right, so all all of them did it. So essentially, you know, uh, I think the the biggest benefit of Notebook is, or the best use case, is just if you use Copilot a lot, if you like Copilot, but right now, Copilot is extremely limited in the characters you can put in there. I personally have never found a problem with the 4,000 or the 2,000 character limit within Copilot because for the most part, I'm not using these super ultra long prompts and I'm usually not also pasting uh, you know, large blocks of text uh, into uh, the input prompt area for a large language model, I'm usually using a Chrome extension or something like that if I'm summarizing large blocks of text. However, I think it's still helpful um, if you do use Copilot in this way. And again, another great feature. Um, it's also a, a cleaner interface I like as well. You know, it's, it's a little crowded here uh, with, with the normal kind of Copilot here. Uh, you know, you have your GPTs. If, if you're um, you have your 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 summaries, uh, you, you know your recent chats here. So I actually do even like this uh, kind of slimmed down uh, view. All right, so I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.